Hello, I wasn't prepared to film today, but I wanted to hop on here really quickly. I'm in the middle of making a quadruple batch of the Bread Becker's Basic Dough Recipe, and I've actually already added one cup of the flour into my liquid ingredients that I already have in my Anchorshire Mixer Bowl. And I just decided that even though I'm not dressed and prepared for a video, this is the real life, the world that I live in, that I would show you very quickly how you can use your mixer to make a humongous amount of bread or dough so you can then do with it what you need to do. Yes, your mixer can handle these large quantities of bread if you do it slowly and if you do it right. So um, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what it is that I'm working on right now. And like I said, I've already added in one cup of flour. I'm gonna end up adding approximately seven, 17 cups of flour. As you know, I typically do not weigh um, my cup, so that's why I'm not weighing them. All right, let's get started with this. Okay, so I'm about to turn the mixer back on. I've got in here, I'll tell you exactly what's in here so you will know. I've got six cups of water, one and one third cup of oil, one and one third cup of sugar. I use sugar in the raw. Uh, the typical, the recipe actually calls for honey. I have eight teaspoons of salt, four teaspoons of gluten. I'll add, um, I'm gonna add half my flour, add four tablespoons of yeast, and then add the rest of my flour and then let it um, knead. And I also have my mixer. I have my flour right here, which you probably can't see with the angle that, but I've got half of my flour already milled and then I'll have to turn my my wheat meal back on for just a minute. So, um, which is right here. I'll turn it back on. I'll turn my wheat meal on for just a minute so I can finish um, milling the flour that I, that I need for um, my recipe. All right, I'm gonna start it out on low. Like I said, I've already got the one cup of flour in there. And that that you hear grinding, that's the salt or the sugar or both. All right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. quite enough for seven almost seven I'm gonna have to mill a little bit more I'm gonna let that mix while I run um, my wheat meal you're gonna hear it click on sorry it's loud
Okay, now according to my count, I really need to add in one more cup of flour. And this is, um, yeah, I'm going to add just a little bit more. I really need about another cup in here. Sorry, I keep bumping my phone with my hat. Okay, so, all right, I'm gonna stop it there and look at it. And yeah, it does require a little bit more attention whenever you put this much flour in here or whatever else for me it does. But that's okay, I don't mind standing here with it if it's gonna help me not have to make bread as often. We're in a bit really busy season right now. We've got spring sports starting up. We've got practices going on. We're about to be getting into game season. So, we're busy. And what I'll do, once these loaves of bread bake, they cool, I'll bag them up, I'll put them in the freezer, and then I'll have fresh bread and anytime we need a loaf of bread, I just take it out of the freezer, let it thaw. If I'm in a hurry, I can put it in the microwave and thaw. Not my preferred way to do it, but I, it does happen where I don't realize I don't have any bread thawed out. And I just I have to do that. And I'm going to set my timer. And I'm going to run a five-minute timer on this and let that run. I'll keep recording. So you can see how it looks as it progresses through the kneading time.
Okay, so this has been kneading now about five minutes. There's the um, the consistency of that. Um, it's not too wet. It's a little sticky. I think that this is ready to take out into shape and to put in my bread pans to rise so I can make bread. So step two, let me get the camera situated and we'll move on. Okay. So here we are. I've already sprayed. I've got five pans sprayed. I'm going to probably need all five of my pans. I prefer to not let my loaves get too tall just because my kids eat the smaller loaves better. I'm sure you know what works best for your family. Let's get this out here. A lot of dough. Here it comes. Ooh. Not bad. I do have flour over there if I need it for um, kneading. I do like to knead it up just a little bit. Yes, this is a lot of dough. You can see how much dough this is, but wow. I didn't spray the palms in my hands. Let me get some flour. Just looks like a little piece of um, chaff. Every now and then I try to pick through it. But every now and then I'll miss some. It doesn't hurt anything. You can eat it. All right. I think this is ready to go. There's one. Two.
three. Might come back and put a little bit more in some of these, move some around. My, lo my loaves are not always even, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit out of this loaf right here. And just I think sometimes people overthink they overthink this. Like it's not, you know, I don't have to make it super complex. So that one's a lot smaller. Okay, so you can see what I got. See if my pans are even. Hmm. Yeah, these over here need a little bit more. This one's a little bit big. It's okay. Yeah, this one's really tiny. Goodness. I'll show you all the end result. I won't film the whole thing this time, but I'll show you all how they look when they come out of the oven. So you can see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And these aren't going to be huge loaves. That's fine. Um, I'm not trying to win it. Okay, so I thought for fun that I would show you something really quick. If you want to make a pretty loaf, like maybe I'm taking this to somebody. Sometimes I give people bread just because. And so maybe I want to take this loaf and give it away. I'm going to show you how to do a braided loaf. And say that again, braid, braided. So I'm going to make three. No, I didn't measure them out. If I wanted to, if I wanted them to be perfect, I would weigh them so they're equal. But I'm in a hurry. I'm always in a hurry. It's not that I'm always in a hurry. It's I just want to be efficient with my time. If I were doing this in a baking competition, yes, weigh them out. But you want them to be about the same length. Or you do want them to be the same length. And it's better if they can be... Now, if you could get the same thickness all the way out, that would be better. Close enough. All right, so I'm just going to simply attach. Ta-da! Alright, so I'll show you that as well. So I'm going to now just leave these to rise. Um, sometimes I put, if my house feels exceptionally cool, I'll put a box over them just to help the heat stay in. But um, I'm not going to do that. So, there we go. I'll, um, I'll post updates. Okay, so my bread has risen. It looks really good. You can see how high up it is compared to how it was in the pan. There is the braided loaf. I'm about to pop these in the oven. I have to hurry. So I would normally do this in just two cookings, but I've got to get it done in one. So I'm going to squeeze all of these pans into my oven and I'll post another video once they all come out. I honestly don't care to bake all five loaves at one time like this. 
I just feel like they do a better job cooking evenly if I cook them um, in two rounds. And if I hadn't had let my time get away from me, I would have baked the bigger ones first and let the others rise later. But I've got to get to school to get my kids. So um, there you have it. So when you don't, so when you run out of time, when you're not being um, like I was as sensitive with my time as I should have been, I just did what I had to do. I put all five loaves in the oven and I cooked them and you can tell I'm a little bit red because I was actually sitting outside and enjoying the warm weather. That's why I got um, behind on my time because I wasn't paying attention to what time it was. So anyway, um, just if you're feeling discouraged about making bread, don't. It really is just trial and error and thankfully the recipe I use, I use the Bread Becker's Basic Dough Recipe. It is very forgiving and if you get your if you get it kneaded correctly you're not going to have any problems just if you make a mistake try 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 again that's what i did see you next time thanks for watching and if you will please give me a thumbs up and a subscription to my channel i'd appreciate it have a great day